Oh my gosh, Fred. What the heck have you built here? It's not a cactus farm. That's the worst thing. Of that. It's a travesty. Do you know how much cactus we lose out of these things? All right. Let me show you how it's done, Fred. We're going to get this thing fit right. By the way, you do know we're in a desert. Why are you sitting in a boat? What's up, Minecrafters? Aristotle here, your resident Minecraft philosopher. And uh, yeah, this isn't the farm we're going to build. Nope. Just hang tight with me and we'll get right into it. All right, this is what's known as your standard cactus farm. Yeah, not much to look at. Pretty messy. And you lose about 25% of your cactus. Nope, we're going to do something entirely different. And this is going to be the key to the whole build right here, slime blocks. So let's get right into the process. Now, we always explain the how before we do the why. Or wait, scratch that, reverse it. We do the why, and then we tell you how. So when you punch uh, plants with slime blocks, boom. You don't have to worry about the cactus disintegrating on the base. Also, while the slime blocks are in place over the top, it prevents any of the other uh, bits of harvest from falling on the bottom of the cactus and also disintegrating. So, boom, there we go. Second thing you need to know about cactus is there is a block that can be placed and grown right next to cactus. Mind blown. No, seriously, you can uh, grow uh, sugarcane right next to cactus and doesn't hurt it, doesn't... Uh, uh, doesn't help it, but it doesn't hurt it. <laughs> now, but harvesting, uh, you also run into the same problem that you do with anything around cactus, which is things disintegrating. Like that, and that, and that. And I tell you, if you want to clear your inventory, just go for that. Don't mind that mess over there. That's what we're building today. But first, I want to show you a smaller module here. So, uh, we're going to build um, four, uh, four modules on each floor and two floors of this. So basically what we have is two double piston extenders. I'll show you the redstone a little later. Uh, right now I just need to prove exactly how well this works. And we have eight cactus plants here, four on this side, four on that side. Two blocks high, so two times eight should be 16. Now your normal cactus uh, farm would lose at least four of those. Minimum, four minimum. You get a 25% loss if you're lucky. And not now, I'll tell you why. So you notice nothing in my inventory. We're nice and clear, everything's all good. And I'm gonna run right across here and grab all 16 cactus. We got 100% of the harvest. Now, that sugarcane trick is gonna come in in my next video, but I wanted to give you a little sneak preview of a multi-crop farm. Now, check that out. That's bamboo, baby. That's bamboo. Yes, it's bamboo and sugarcane and cactus. We got 20, 40 plants in one section with just two sets of pistons. How cool is that? All right. So really quickly, just to show you that this works and it works on all these three types of plants is we're gonna do a harvest. Now we've got 10 cactus in the front, we got 10 bamboo in the back, and we've got 20 uh, sugar cane all spread out in between. So that's exactly what we should get from this if we're gonna get 100% harvest 100% of the time. So I'm gonna run around the back here. I'm just gonna hit my button and it shoots it all forward and right in the thing. Now, let me clear my inventory. Okay, here we go. 10, 10, and 20, baby, come on. Come on, 20, come on, lucky 20. And there we go. We have 20 sugar cane, 10 cactus, 10 bamboo. We got 100% of the harvest. And oh, yeah, bamboo's growing already. All right. Okay, so like I said, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to build this. And this is only halfway done. Uh, this was from an earlier take, so don't mind me. I don't clean up my messes. So I'm gonna come on out here into the middle, get my inventory ready to go, and I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step how on how to do this. All right, so we have our space, we have our building permits, we're ready to go. Okay, this build is gonna be 19 by 23, finished with walls, decorated, etc. You can make it bigger if you want to. Uh, you can certainly make it as tall as you want, but I'm just gonna show you this version here, and then later in later videos, we can uh, play with uh, size and everything else like that. Okay, so we're gonna come up to, 
uh, right from the start. This block right here, we're going to call this the center block. It's going to be the center of our entire build. So, uh, you know, if, if you're looking at this, we're going nine blocks that way and nine blocks that way. And then counting this makes 19. And that's how wide we're going to be. Um, or actually scratch that. That's how deep we're going to be. Never mind. Follow along. Okay, center block right here, right off the sides. We're going to come out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, and on the ends, we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Now, so looking at this from what's going to be the, well, I guess, the front of my build, um, at least the prettiest part of it, it uh, looks like a big kind of stretched out H. Okay, that's that's the shape that we're looking for. All right, so now this next part's a little confusing, but we're gonna do this. So right here on the inside, we're gonna go one, two, three, and one, two. And then we're gonna come on the other side and mirror that exactly. One, two, three, one, two. Notice I didn't go to the center block, it's, it's set off. So we're gonna do the same on this side. One, two, three, one, two. And then come on the inside, one, two, three, one, two. And then back over on this side right here, three and then two, three and then two. And uh, counting with Aristotle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now we're, we're done with this shape. So that's exactly what you'd have. If you want to take a pause, take a screenshot, do whatever you need to do, make certain you're caught up, you're good to go. Now, if I haven't mentioned this already, we're using slime blocks. And you're definitely, if you're building this in survival, you're definitely going to want a slime farm. And now, so we got to grab our sticky pistons. And here we go. We're going to go to these little two block sections. So one, two, and one, two, just like that. One, two, and one, two. And we're going to swing around to the back side. Do the same. One, two, one, two, one, two and one two and so just another shot what you're looking at that's exactly what you're looking at all right so uh if you're familiar with the um uh redstone uh, regarding double piston extenders it requires two repeaters so uh you're going to put place one repeater in the back and you're going to set it to two ticks and then one repeater in front of that set to four ticks back ones two front ones four very very important this will not work if you don't use this configuration so two in the back four in the front and we're going to go across to the other side two in the back four in the front four in the front two in the back two in the back four in the front now if you get that timing wrong trust me you'll know okay now it's time for some actual redstone dust so you grab your redstone dust and you're going to right, right across the front right down the center just like this and then cover those three blocks there same thing on the other side all right and now that is 80 percent of the redstone for this build it's it's actually pretty simple so we're going to move on to slime blocks now um now uh, cactus can't be placed right next to each other so what we're going to do is we're going to be planting the cactus in a staggered things. We're going to go there, 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 etc. We're going to keep kind of go on. So we have to mimic that with our cactus, uh, with our slime blocks here. So easiest way to remember this is right off the prison. We're going to come out two, go up one. And then on either side of this, we're going to come out two, go up one, come out two, go up one. And then on the end here, one, two, just like that. And this is the shape that we're looking for. Ignore those little connector blocks in the back. We're looking for a two high here, two high in front of that, two high behind that, two high in front of that. That's exactly the shape we're looking for. And now we're only allowed 11 blocks on the front of this piston extender. So it's very important that you kind of pay attention at this part. Now, the other set of piston on the same little module there is going to be the exact mirror of that. So it's out two, up one, and then same on either side. And you'll notice we have the the up front here, the recessed ones in the back. It's just as if we had a mirror right in between. All right, so let's do this one more time. One, two, one, and then out two, up one, out two, up one, and then one, two. All right, and then out two, up one, and again, and plie like ballet class and then there we go all right so i'm going to pause the recording here finish up the other side because i think you got it just stop and rewind it if you didn't and we'll move on to the next section 
All right, all the slime blocks are in. Okay, so now we need to plant a place to plant our cactus. So it's uh, actually pretty simple. So come up to one of your nodules here and go to the one that's like over the front and you got to shove your head in there, just shove it in. No, uh, what you want to do right on the ground or ground level, uh, if you started to build it up in the air, you're going to have to figure that out. <laughs> um, right at ground level, you're going to place one sand, two sand, and then create a little two by eight rectangle. Okay, now if you really want to, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do all eight blocks if you're trying to save sand or something, because really we're going to have a plant here, and you'll see how that's jutted out, and then a recessed one here for that plant, jutted out, and recessed there, but really, to be honest, uh, for uh, scaling, scalability and just ease, it's a lot easier to fix, especially once you get a wall on this thing. Um, and some glass going on, you get it all decorated up, and then you found out you recessed a cactus when you should have put it forward. It's just totally not worth it. Okay, so let's sl slap that in. And again, on the other side, we're just gonna go right up to it and right in front, and that's exactly what we want. And create our little two by eight with sand. All right, we're almost done. Now those one block gaps are really important because, uh, well, frankly, uh, Pistons can only push so much. And so if if these slime blocks were to touch, uh, it would just gum up and be a wrench in the whole system. All right, so there's one more set of serious block placement, and then uh, we're, we'll be 90% done with this build. So um, here we go. So we got to cap this off. Uh, and the reason being is sometimes when slime blocks launch it, it'll launch it up or out or we don't want that. We want to control the flight. So what we're going to do is, is one of the easiest ways is three temporary blocks up and then pop an immovable block. Now it's very important that's an immovable block because that slime block is gonna travel under and then it's gonna to touch that block and then it's gonna retract. Uh, again, if it's just a piece of stone or cobble, that is not going to work. So your choices are obsidian or usually what I do when I build this in uh, survival is I build it out of furnaces. Furnaces are great uh, for that. Cobble's really easy to come by and it's not hard to uh, make them look good. Um, and the reason for that is you can just kind of, if you take a, take a minute and face them in to each other, they kind of look like a fancy cobblestone, really, uh, which is kind of cool. And But they're uh, immovable, so um, yeah, and we'll be all good. All right, so I'm gonna finish that up on this side. Basically, it's uh, a gap, a uh, vertical gap of three, and then we're gonna have an obsidian pad, the same as the two by eight, just like the sand below. Let me finish that right now, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so we're back, we're all capped off with obsidian. Now we're gonna come back to the center block, and we're gonna build the clock that's going to power our contraption here. And uh, just because it's a cactus farm, we're gonna use a cactus clock. So I'm gonna do one thing real quick before I do that though. I'm gonna put one, two, three, four temporary blocks, and then I'm gonna pop on the on the fifth space, I'm gonna pop another center block because I'm gonna build a second story to this thing. So I can take those out and that gives me a good starting point where I can just rewind my own video and follow it along from there and build the whole thing all over again. Okay, so uh, we're gonna do a cactus clock. So where to put this? So I'm right here by the center block and there's a gap obviously in between that module and this module right here. So what we're gonna do is kind of right from the gap, we're gonna come one in from it and place a piece of sand. Okay, second thing, we're gonna put one permanent block and then one temporary block. Then we're gonna grab an observer here and we're gonna pop it there and we're gonna make certain its little butt is pointed right at our center block there. And then we're gonna break this block away. The reason being, we gotta plant a cactus here. And if there's a block in place of it, click, 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 right clicking, nope, nothing's happening. But boom, it works without the block, and that's great. Now these won't disturb it, it's got space in the front. When this grows up, it's gonna trigger the ob observer, uh, which is gonna power a whole thing. But I don't want it to go off quite yet. All right, so coming straight out of this observer here, we're gonna go uh, repeater, and we're gonna set it to two ticks. This is very important. If it's set to one tick, you'll get a misfire on this whole thing. It's gotta get set to two. All right, now, uh, you OCD people are going to hate me for this one, but we're gonna pop two blocks. So two blocks from the center one and two from the side. And yes, 
it's not even, it's not symmetrical. Okay, here's the solution, just do that. We just won't put any redstone on those, but it doesn't bother me at all. So uh, we're gonna do that. So we have those, uh, that little two by two there. So I'm gonna put on this one, right on the opposite side of the center block, I'm gonna pop a comparator facing this way, comparator facing that way. And then I'm gonna pop right in between this first set of pistons, we're gonna pop a repeater. One tick is just fine, just leave it at one tick. And pop a repeater there. I found this just kind of smooths everything out, uh, especially if you're building this over chunk lines and things are loading. For some reason, it just seems to stop um, malfunctions. All right, and that's it. Everything else just gets covered with redstone dust. And that's it. And so I'm going to back up here. Whoop, we got to get out from another, another block and give you a kind of let you see. Um, remember, two ticks on this one facing that way, facing that way. One tick, one tick. And then it's two and then four for the back ones. And that's how we do it. Okay. So uh, we're going to give this guy a quick test here. So I'm just going to grab a block. And, uh, oh. I have first time flying, right? <laughs> Too much survival for me. All right, so I'm gonna place block here. We'll give it a test and boom, everything gets extended and then retracted. What we're looking for is half retractions or half extensions. Uh, and then we're, or, you know, crazily some piston spitting out their blocks and leaving them out there in the ether, which we don't want and nope. Everything looks good. Now, my computer's an old computer, so this is actually a pretty lag-friendly design, uh, believe it or not. So, anyways, uh, so what we got to do is we got to arm the clock now, and all that takes is, boom, pop that cactus. Uh, no cleanup, nothing to worry about. Okay, so let's plant, our, let's plant this row. So we're going to go one here, one in the front. You see how we match how it goes with the slime blocks, and then mirror image. So for, uh, back, forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, back. And we just kind of do that all the way around. So uh, back, forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, back, back, forward, back, forward, forward, back, forward, back. Okay. And now, uh, except for a wall outside and a second story, this thing's pretty much done. I'm going to build the second story and I'm going to do it off camera real quick uh, just so we can get that done. And then, but I am gonna pause it at a certain point. So there is something uh, you should see. So let me get started. And uh, if you wanna know what I'm doing, I'm doing exactly what I did for the first floor. Uh, and I will point out anything that's in a little bit different. So see you in just a minute. All right, so the second story is on and it's just about done. There's just a couple things I wanted to show you real quick, uh, which are a little different. Now, obviously like with our cactus uh, timer down below, uh, you know, we've just got the piece of sand sitting on the ground, which is fine, but we're going to need a block to hold this guy up. And so this is where that block goes. So that's the block right there. So if you want to look at it, it, you could go from the top of this, even with the observer, we go one, two, and then the block. Uh, another way to look at it is it's even with the redstone right in between, you know, in that gap, same thing, uh, right above that. Or how I usually do it is when I'm doing this, because I have my permanent block here, I go temporary block, temporary block, and then I come down one, two, and then I just chop all that off. Uh, so that's the way to go. And right on top of that, you just plop your sand, plop your cactus, and here you go. The other thing to know about this is that all that obsidian comes in really handy, because where how are we supposed to suspend, suspend our sand out here? That's exactly where your sand goes for your next level. Oops. <laughs> okay, it goes right on top of the obsidian just like that. And that's how it goes for every level going up. Um, so you just keep doing that. So I'm gonna fill in the sand and I'll get right back to you. All right, my philosophers, we are back and we have 64 plants in place, all able to grow too high. We have two hopper uh, or two cactus clocks in place, one for each floor. I prefer it that way myself. Um, it really doesn't cause any extra lag. In fact, it lets the top fire and then the bottom fire kind of eases up on my old as dirt computer. Um, but one of the things to remember, so now is the time to troubleshoot it and check it before we close this one in. Not that you can't do it afterwards, but it's just so much easier, even in survival, 
uh, you know, pillaring up and really correcting slime blocks and things like that. So now's a good time to go over and watch it for a little bit. And as you'll be able to tell pretty easily, uh, we're getting plenty of cactus coming off this thing. Now you say, this is twice as big as our uh, normal cactus farm. Like the one that Fred built over there had 80 plants in it. But to be honest, you're not going to get very much uh, when you're losing at least 25% of that. So uh, in this case, you're getting 100% of the cactus um, harvested, So, which is great. But we got to stop it flying out in the space and littering up uh, our world here. So we're going to uh, bring this in. Now, um, There's uh, we're going to the actual edge of the build is going to be right here. And that's for a very specific reason. You'll notice we're, we have one block gap in between that last one. And that's because of these slime blocks. If I built a wall right up next to it, they would come into contact with those slime blocks and totally take that out of commission. Same thing on that side and same thing up there. So we do have to come out a little what, a um, little longer. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a trench three down and we're gonna take it uh, right on across the way here to just like your thing. And you'll notice I just started it one past Whoops, uh, no, 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 I'm here. Okay, that's exactly where I wanna go, just like that. Okay, so three deep, and we're gonna go one past the sand in the front, and we're good, and now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, which I will pause the recording to save you time. All right, so we've got the trenches in on both sides, and our farm is obviously running here. So uh, what we're gonna do is drop down in the trench. Now, you wanna figure out which side of the farm you wanna take your uh, collection system out to. Are you run into a base, you run into a storage system, or do you just wanna run it up to the side? And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna say I wanna take everything out this side. So I'm just gonna kinda come over here and give a little you know, uppity up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right to the end here. And as we go underneath, and you'll see we're one past the building, we're just gonna go too high. We're not gonna break through to the surface. And I'm just gonna tunnel straight through to the other trench right there. And now we're in the other trench. So basically what we formed is this nice big horseshoe. Give me a second and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. And this is what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna cover it in rails. So what I've done is this is the end of the horseshoe, not the end of the thing. So the minecart's gonna come down here, hit this block, turn around and come back. And as it flies along, it's gonna take a left through our little corridor here over to the other side and then run along and pick up all the cactus out of this side. Now, I've chosen for this one, since I uh, this is just creative world, I'm not sending it off to a, uh, a redstone, or to a storage system or anything else like that. So I'm just gonna build myself um, uh, a little um, drop off center here and then run it back through. Now, one thing though, uh, that is really, really uh, a good thing to do is to cover this up. So in this case, I'm just gonna grab a sandstone slab and we're gonna run across to the other side here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Um, one of the things is, is not a lot of space for lighting and or anything like that. So I'm gonna take these sandstone slabs, or you can take any slab at all. And this is what the cactus is gonna land on. So I'm going, Ooh, that's not a slab, there we go. We're gonna pop those in and you'll notice there's plenty of room for the minecart to go. These are only half a block high, so mobs won't spawn down here in the, th in the thing. Not that they can mess up anything, uh, but we're just gonna kind of run along and do this. And there we go. And then of course this section is, isn't gonna be harmed at all, but then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do the same thing. And we're just gonna pop these slabs in all the way around it makes a nice little uh you know collection point now for me since i'm popping this up i don't want to get caught up on that i did that but if for some reason you were to look down into this area you know kind of looks nice you know that's all okay so uh let me finish up the collection system and the and the mine cart and then uh, we'll get onto walls and decoration all right so our collection drop-off system is all set up and we're just gonna set this off. All right, and there we go. So it's gonna go all the way around 
And we're just going to listen to it here. I do have my sounds turned on. Oh, heard it hit. Turn around and go back the other way. And then as it comes through, shouldn't have anything to really drop off yet, just because all the stuff's been flying out. But there we go. Not a single thing. Okay, so now we need to build a wall. And our wall is going to go right here along next to the track. So I've chosen white concrete, cyan terracotta, and some green stained glass. And we're going to see how that looks. I'm going to build this up. Uh, but it's it's actually pretty simple uh, if you want to design. I always like to do, I'm going to run a, uh, you know, glass uh, or, or everything right across there. I'm going to kind of be mindful of that side. And then I'm just going to, you know, run it. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs> I'm going to run it right around here down to there and then back around and basically I'm going to make this kind of a big glass rectangle uh, with lots of um, uh, with uh, lots of nice borders so let me show you uh, what we can do with that and you know what I'm yeah let me show you what I can do with that be right back all right, so here's the finished product. Uh, I basically just made a giant rectangular box out of white concrete and glass, just lining everything up. And then I used the cyan terracotta to kind of give it a little dimension, you know, just kind of pop out on it. Modern look, not too bad. Uh, it's been running the whole time. Maybe took me 20 minutes to do that. And check out what we've got. Now I do have my tick speed set to 10 times normal so uh yeah <laughs> you're not gonna get three stack three stacks in 20 minutes not with 64 uh, cactuses and uh, how slow it all grows now you can pop yourself a nice little door right here get yourself on the inside now obviously you're gonna want to light this this place up uh you know you can check out how everything's doing oh here we go so you can watch uh and see how well that uh there it goes cleans it all up and then zooms right on back so uh that's how everything is uh in this build and like i said you know throw some torches up do whatever uh it's a great little build and it's 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 honestly it's something i've done uh at least twice now in survival uh since i came up with this whole idea and i love to do it in a multi-crop version and if you've got a new way to configure to get more cactus or to get it into a smaller thing Dude, send me a screenshot. I'd love to see it. Um, but as it stands right now, this is a zero loss cactus farm that doesn't require, you know, uh, a miracle. So thanks for watching and I really appreciate it. And you guys have a good night.